not seen, seen in modern, modern times. times. There are now there are more now than 14,000 14, reported cases, cases in the U.S. The country, the country under, under lockdown, lockdown for the past, past week saw its death toll, toll rise, rise by 475 today. The number of number cases of the coronavirus has now soared past 17,000. The stock market suffered its worst losses since the financial crisis of 2008. Beginning Sunday, all non-essential workers ordered to stay home. Today I am officially declaring a national emergency. Public school closings nationwide have gained speed in recent days and some big name businesses are also doing the same. It's not just schools. The closures are hitting nearly every aspect of life. What's up you guys welcome back to my channel and today is gonna be a very interesting different kind of video but you know it's something that I feel like it's time to talk about you know the coronavirus it is something that is affecting a lot of people it's just kind of crazy it feels like we're all in a movie right now I don't know it's just kind of hard to comprehend it you know but it is something very serious going on and I just want to remind everyone to you know take care of yourself practice washing your hands social distancing and you know only going out when it is necessary so that you can be the one to prevent the virus from spreading I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there that you know that this is a very sensitive topic right now I'm just stating that this is just a conspiracy theory nothing is fact Actual whatsoever from this entire video. Okay, let's begin. So the World Health Organization is responding to a respiratory disease that is spread from person to person caused by the novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, and has been around since about December 2019. So early on in the outbreak, it started off in Wuhan, China at a food market, and it was spread from animal to person. Barricaded and guarded by police with masks, Chinese authorities have traced a new deadly virus back to this seafood market in the city of Wuhan. They say a new strain of coronavirus originated here has struck dozens of people and put an entire region on edge, sparking concern that the virus might have been transmitted from animals to humans. But later on, research showed that there were no indications of people having any connection with this food market, showing that it was indicating a person-to-person -person spread of this virus. And then eventually, Actually, this the entire disease just spread internationally, showing that it was outside of Wuhan and it hit major countries. The situation now just poses a, an entire risk to the public health. It is now a pandemic and has spread globally. As of today, when this video was filmed on March 20th, 2020, there are over 235,000 cases. And there also have been a total of 9,300 plus deaths. And there are a total of 177 countries, territories, and areas that this virus has had contact with. How could the coronavirus, a virus that started in Wuhan, China at a market, spiraled out of control to have gone globally to have caused this much destruction in such a short amount of time? When CNN contacted the market, they would not comment. The whole conspiracy is, what if COVID-19 coronavirus could be a biological terrorist attack on the world? You know, there's been the constant threat of nuclear war, but now people are, you know, a little bit smarter and want to do it a little bit more secretly and hide, you know, behind the curtain while the rest of us suffer. It could be a good possibility that this is what's going on. So bioterrorism is terrorism of releasing intentionally a biological agent 
These agents can be bacteria, viruses, insects, fungi, or even toxins. These can basically be naturally occurring or human modified, in much the same way as biological warfare. So biological weapons are able to incapacitate or kill people, plants, and animals as part of a war effort. In effect, it's basically not using human effort to end human lives. It is done on its own. And the scary thing is that bioterrorism has been around for a long time. So this isn't anything out of the ordinary. During World War I, the Chinese army poisoned over 1,000 water wells in Chinese villages. All in an effort to study cholera, and I might be saying this wrong, but typhus outbreaks. And some of these outbreaks actually continued for over a long period of time, to the point that it killed over 30,000 people. And all this happened just back in 1947, long after the Japanese actually surrendered. Another example is anthrax. Anthrax had an outbreak, not a big one, but a small one, back in 2001. The Florida man has contracted a very rare and potentially deadly form of anthrax. Rare inhaled form of anthrax. Boca Raton, Florida today, a memorial service for Bob Stevens. Concerns over anthrax in Florida after one man died from the illness. America strikes back. Anthrax. In just a week's time, we have had four confirmed cases of anthrax, all with media connections. Basically, anthrax spores were sent through the United States Postal Service system. In all, 22 people contracted the virus, and over five people died. And the scariest part is that the guilty party was never found. Anthrax is found at a facility that handles mail going to the White House. President Bush is calling those people who are mailing these anthrax letters evildoers, and he says any attempt to terrorize this nation is going to fail. And smallpox. By the mid-1900s, smallpox was pretty much a thing of the past in countries like the United States or in Europe. But in much of the rest of the world, smallpox was continuing to kill millions of people. There were outbreaks triggered by people returning from voyages from the farm. In 1947, some travelers came to New York City and had gone to every major tourist site before coming down with the disease. Thousands of New Yorkers were exposed. Smallpox can be very deadly if they are exposed to the public. Thankfully, there are actual vaccinations nowadays to prevent the spread of smallpox. The last naturally spread case of smallpox was in 1977. However, there are actually two laboratories in the entire world that still have smallpox in their laboratories. One in the United States and one in Russia. It was July 1st when a lab worker at the National Institutes of Health found the smallpox vials while cleaning out a storage refrigerator. The vials appeared to date back to the 1950s. The vials of smallpox are currently being tested in a level 4 high containment laboratory at the CDC in Atlanta. From that moment, the CDC, NIH, FBI, FDA, and World Health Organization worked closely to develop a plan of action. The White House was immediately informed that a potential agent of bioterrorism had been found. However, if someone had access to the virus, since there are two laboratories in the entire world that have access to smallpox, it could be used as an effective biological weapon and could spread very quickly. I can't even imagine this today. There's no way to prevent the movement of viruses in a world where planes exist. So that just honestly makes you wonder, could the coronavirus be a modern day terrorist attack on the world? So potentially whatever government or person mutated COVID-19 and turned it into the newer version so that it could be spread from person to person might have had some sort of motive behind what they did, as would any other terrorist attack that has happened, like 9-11. This, Justin, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center. La espera de, de mayores informaciones, saber qué fue lo que ocurrió, cómo fue que este. Apparently, a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. It, it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now, remember, oh my God. That looks like a second plane. That terrorist attack that happened caused negative impacts on our economy. It killed over 3,000 people, caused mass panic. It improved our security significantly. 
from what it used to be. That terrorist attack shut down airports and made headlines for several days. The whole side has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. The building has collapsed. Big bang. And then we saw the smoke coming out and everybody started running out and we saw the plane on the other side of the building and there was smoke everywhere and people were jumping out the windows. Over there they're jumping out the windows, I guess because they're trying to save themselves. I don't know. And there, as you can see, see perhaps, perhaps the second, the second tower, tower, the front, front tower, tower, the top, the top portion, portion of which is, which is collapsing. collapsing. Good, Lord. Good Lord. Since then, we've put things in place to prevent a terrorist attack of that form to ever happen to us again. But that doesn't, you know, keep people away from trying to create new ways to plan a terrorist attack. Not only just to our country, but the world. Not to compare the coronavirus to what 9-11 did, but they have some similarities as a terrorist attack. The coronavirus so it has negatively affected major countries like China, Italy, and the United States. Our economies together are basically what support the world. We are the major ones, and we are negatively impacted right now by all of this going on. The stock, the stock market, market suffered, suffered its, its worst losses, losses since, since the financial, financial crisis, crisis of 2008. This has shut down schools and colleges for the rest of the school year, basically. Public school, Public school closings, closings nationwide, nationwide have gained, have gained speed, speed in recent, recent days, days, and, and some, some big name businesses, businesses are also doing the same. It has caused a lot of stores to run out of food. It has caused mass panic. It has caused people to lose their their jobs for you know and filing for unemployment because their stores have shut down basically people are now having to work from home beginning, beginning sunday, sunday all, all non-essential non -essential workers, workers ordered, ordered to stay, stay home, home even, even limiting, limiting new yorkers, yorkers from using public, public transportation. transportation and a lot of countries have closed their borders to prevent people from coming in this virus has killed several thousand people and has infected over several hundreds of thousands across the globe. Today I am officially declaring a national emergency. And did I mention this virus has been on every single news source across the world for the past few weeks, in the past few months. This is something we have not seen in modern times. There are now more than 14,000 reported cases in the U.S. The country under lockdown for the past week saw its death toll rise by 475 today. The number of cases of the coronavirus has now soared past 17,000. And all this has happened in such a short amount of time. All of us wondering, how did all of this just start from a small food market in Wuhan, China? to get to this point. When CNN contacted the market, they would not comment. Which makes you think, instead of causing a nuclear war and knowing that they are more than likely going to get shot right back at and die, wouldn't you think that someone who's very evil would just like to sit back quietly in the shadows, release a virus into the public, and just watch all of the major countries just start slowly fading away? All with no repercussions, because they didn't do it. It's just a virus. The number of cases of the coronavirus has now soared past 17,000. Dr. Anthrax is found at a facility that handles mail going to the White House. President Bush is calling those people who are mailing these anthrax letters evildoers, and he says any attempt to terrorize this nation is going to fail. The whole side has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. Today I am officially declaring a national emergency. They would not comment. I can't even imagine this today. There's no way to prevent the movement of viruses in a world where planes exist. But it just makes you wonder, like, why would someone want to do this? There are some very evil and crazy people in this world who are in high power that want to have control over the world. And there's a lot of countries like that, unfortunately, who just don't want to live in peace together. So it really wouldn't surprise me and a lot of people if this were to be a possibility that the coronavirus is just a modern day terrorist attack with biological warfare of just releasing a disease into the public and slowly watching everything just fade away that could be a possibility but we don't know they would not comment i don't know if that's real or not it's just a conspiracy i know it is a very difficult topic going on around a lot of people right now. There are a lot of people dying from this, a lot of old people and young people, and people who don't even know why they've been infected because they've come in contact with someone who was, and it's very overwhelming, you know. I just think that right now we all need to work together to overcome this as a whole, not even just a country, as a world, and know that 
we're gonna get through this, you know. We all just have to do our part in staying clean, covering our coughs, and you know, making sure we cover whenever we sneeze and you know, social distance ourselves for just the time being and can take control over the whole situation going on right now and come out better, stronger, and healthier than before. But I just wanted to state that this whole thing was just a theory. There are no facts in place whatsoever, knowing that this is a very sensitive and continuing topic that our world is being faced with right now but that is pretty much it for today's video you guys tell me what you think about this theory and share it with all of your friends i'll see you next time